Today I'm gonna to be shopping for my dream car. For so long I've been wanting this car and I've never been able to get it for so many various reasons. And the reason why I've got the other cars I've gotten before, like the 2017 Nissan GTR, was because I saw it was a really, really good way to create content. And the car that I've always wanted has always been something I felt like hasn't been the best for content, but something I would thoroughly enjoy myself. There are reasons, God, how the there are reasons why I haven't got this car and I want to be financially responsible. Before, I would go ahead and just buy a car I'd like, and be like, oh, this is so sick. It's not the wisest decision to go out and spend a substantial amount of money on a car that isn't really gonna be making me money. And there's a reason why I'm driving this minivan is because I've weighed the decisions of if I put so much time into something, I won't even be able to have a life. I actually live by this, this, one, this one rule here. It's actually on a coffee mug that I have. This is what the mug says. I don't, even, I don't even drink coffee, but it says, never get so busy making a living that you forget to make a life. I don't wanna to get to a point where I'm focusing on making so much money that I forget to live the only life that I have. So my goal is buy the things I enjoy, the cars and things like that, like this, and this will make me money for me to get the car that I want. And I think it'd be so smart for, if you guys have goals for things that you want, try to figure out ways for you to make money while on the way of getting there. Like I could take the shortcut and just buy the car, but I would then put myself in a bad situation where I don't think I'd be making as much money for later on. I'd have to sell, you know, my last dream car, like my Corvette or my GTR, which those are both such amazing cars. So I'm excited to go test drive a couple as it will motivate me and I will soon be getting the car. <laughs> so I'm done messing with uh, with you guys. I'm gonna tell you what car it is now, but what type of car it is. I'm here at Corvette World. Look, I don't wanna talk. How you try and press the kid and really you was soft. All you know is capping, homie, you don't know the law. Pedal to the metal, you ain't catching me in Dude, what the f***? 87,000? Okay, did not expect the newer year to be 87,000. This must be the basest model I ever. These do not sit in cars. Carbon 05. Oh my god. She's sexy. Holy sh Dude, how they get their cars so close? Look at this. Look how close that is there. But no, look how close this is. Like... Okay, so I had a Stingray before, but my dream car is the Z06. I never got the Z06, and the reason why I never got the Z06 is because it's so much power. It's 200 more horsepower than the one I originally had. This is an automatic. I miss driving this car, but I do not want black. Black interior, not good, don't want that. I want good interior. 2018, 16,000 miles, automatic. You care that I film it all? I don't care. Film. Okay, perfect. Sick. Robert's gonna help me out. What's this one like? That is a manual Grand Sport. Yeah. One of 50. There's only 50 Grand Sports really? in a manual with the uh, carbon 65. They all came with every single carbon fiber upgrade you can get, including the carbon fiber steering wheel that became more famous in the uh, ZR1. Suede upgrade and the whole series with blue stitching. It's the only car other than the ZR1 from the factory to get the blue calipers. I've always wanted an all interior blue, which you yeah. rarely can find or it's all aftermarket, I'm pretty sure, right? Exactly. And this, this is ceramic gray. This color debuted with this car. So this is number 294 of the 650. They all have plaques yeah. below, the below the radio. You look. You'll see it there. AKA, it's a raw car. Or it's a rare car. I don't say raw, rare. Okay, so the reason why I love these cars is number one reason, they get really, really great gas mileage for the sports cars that they are. You can literally drive down the highway and get 25 MPG on a huge, on a long road trip. For that reason, I love these cars. Me and my brother actually did a road trip in these cars and I think for me, they're like the most comfortable car I personally like. Love it, love it. Um, a whole nother thing is that they're really, really pretty on the interior and I've never really had the color interior, I've always had the black. So this time around, when or if or when I get my new Z06 car, I'm gonna be getting one with beautiful interior. So another thing I love about these cars is that it's all driver oriented. So if you're sitting here as a driver, you've got the screen facing towards you, you can rest your arm, the cup holds is right there. And when you're shifting gears, it's like everything is it's out of your way. Like when you're shifting, the cups don't get in your way. And like in some supercars, like I think it's a McLaren or even a Ferrari, like they don't even have anything that's really easy to use in some of these like really, really high end cars. And even to get a cup holder in a Lamborghini is like $2,000. So for me, this car here is like perfect for like all regular, day driving as a sports car. Dude, the Z06 is gonna be so much fun. It's so much faster too. It's got a supercharger. Bro, just the overall look too. When you drive this car, you feel so low to the ground. You literally see like the curves of the body like through when you're driving. Oh, and also has heads up display. I totally forgot. 
So this little screen projects onto the windshield and then onto the windshield, you're looking through the windshield, but you see the speed you're going or what gear you're in or what gas mileage you're getting. Like it's so sick. Do you think this is a supercar? Yes. A okay. Car. All right. I think it's a, I think right, it's a now, supercar too. Okay. <laughs> I got them all. I got them all like, are you, no, are you, you ready know for what? flaming comments? Okay. <laughs> yeah, here yeah, we yeah. go. Okay. The old, I'm an older fart. Okay. That was all a good right. shot. We got to notice that. Come on. That's a good <laughs> shot. <laughs> so speed. Kobe Forsen. Oh! He made it! <laughs> But I will say this. Some people say in order to be a supercar, you need to be 200 miles an hour these days. Oh, okay. Which if, okay, if that's the bar, if yeah. it's, it's got to be a sports car that's got to achieve 200 miles an mm -hmm. hour, then this will qualify because the top speed on this is 202. Okay, yeah. so Sick. Um, you can have a, a, a G Wagon. It, it's not a super truck, it's a nice, expensive it's not, it's, truck. It's got but, a super truck. But you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's yeah. Like, you know, they, it being rare or it being expensive doesn't make it a supercar. What makes mm -hmm. a supercar is what it does on the pavement. And what the Corvette has done on the pavement for the last decade is a supercar, period. <laughs> I miss that sound so much. Making me consider a manual. No, it's not the way I'm gonna go, but you're making me consider it. Then I went and picked up Hannah from the airport and we went to test drive my dream car. What is this? Oh, that's a Grand Sport. Well, look at these. I didn't know I could add these on the car, so if I get for a Z06, that's a modification I can look at getting, possibly. This one looks, oh, I really like these wheels and that wing looks sick. I mean, count on me getting up that wing. Aw, oh, you know what sucks on the inside, babe? It's not a manual. Aww. Next. Do you like this one? I actually do, I'm not gonna lie. It's not manual, I don't like it. Yeah, All right, so I went in and like asked about the car and they're like, oh, it's 30 minutes away. And they uh, they just literally towed it here. <laughs> oh, sick. Damn, the blue. It's been so long. Aw, I love it. I miss that, yeah. I miss that so much. Wow. Crash it, you buy it. Sounds good. <laughs> wow, oh my God, I can't believe I'm in this car right now. This is so sick. It's so you. Oh my God, I forgot it was manual. I didn't put my foot on the clutch. Wow, it's been so long. Oh my god, it's been so long. All right, so 650 horsepower. I've only had one that's 450 horsepower. Oh wow. Full rear wheel drive too on this. So it's gonna be completely different than the GTR. The GTR, I think why it was so quick is because it was all wheel drive and always had grip the entire time. And this is gonna have horrible gear quality. so sick. I didn't think I'd be in a, in a, in a Z06 today. they knew who I was and they're like, okay, we want to let him drive the car. So I appreciate them doing that. 650 horsepower, 650 torque. That's insane. I, I love it. Uh, having the screen go down, having the cup holders out of the way of manual, just having everything I want. The booty fans, the booty fans, my peeps, the booty fans, kings, queens, everyone. You get Gucci sweat. We need to cool it down. It's the best thing ever. I'm just going to say I, that. I love, who is that? Don't worry about it. Oh, uh, they're just messing with you. B-E-A, beautiful. 